6.4. Who's that over there? It's Anna. You know, the intelligent girl. She's very different. Her hair's blonde. Yes, and she doesn't wear glasses now. What does she do? She's a journalist. She works for a newspaper. The Times, I think. Is she good? I don't know. I don't read the Times. And who's that man with gray hair? Is it Matt? Yes. What does he do? He's a teacher. He teaches Spanish. Where does he work? At our old school. No, at our old school? Yes, and he's married to Laura. Laura? From our class? Is she here? Yes, she's with Matt. Very nice shoes. I know, right? They're amazing. Sarah, Julia, hi. Great to see you. Hi, Laura. Wow, I love your shoes. They're beautiful. 6.6 Does Finishes Goes Likes Lives Teaches Watches Writes 6.7 one. I live in New York. He. He lives in New York. Two. I finish work at eight o'clock. She. She finishes work at eight o'clock. Three. I teach English. My brother. My brother teaches English. Four. I watch CNN. She. She watches CNN. Five. I write books. He. He writes books. Six. I go to college. John. John goes to college. Seven. I don't eat meat. My sister. My sister doesn't eat meat. Eight. I don't read newspapers. My husband. My husband doesn't read newspapers. Nine. Do you work? He. Does he work? Ten. Do you drink coffee? She. Does she drink coffee? 6.8. Do you speak English at work? What do these people have in common? A banker in Mexico City, a taxi driver in Ankara, and a worker in the Hitachi Electronics Factory in Tokyo. They all speak English at work. Do you speak English at work? Write and tell us. Antonio. I work in a restaurant in Lima. I'm a waiter. I speak English at work every day because a lot of tourists come here. I help customers with the menu and I say what the special dishes are. They are very happy because they can talk to me in English. A lot of tourists don't speak Spanish, but they usually speak English. Charlotte I'm a receptionist and I work in an office in Buenos Aires. It's a multinational company. When people from other countries visit the company, 
I need to welcome them in English. I also need to answer the phone in English. When we have meetings, we all speak in English because it's the language of the company. 6.9 What does he do? He's a nurse. Where does he work? He works in a hospital. Does he speak English at work? No, he doesn't. Does he like his job? Yes, he does. 6.10 What does he do? He's a nurse. Where does he work? He works in a hospital. Does he speak English at work? No, he doesn't. Does he like his job? Yes, he does. 6.12 Hannah is a concert planner. She has a son, Kit, who's three years old. Hannah, what time do you usually get up? I get up at 7 o'clock, but I also get up in the night because Kit usually calls me. Mama! Mama! I tell him to sleep. Kit, go to sleep. But he usually comes into my bed. Do you usually feel tired? Yes, I always feel tired. Do you take a shower or a bath in the morning? I turn on the TV for Kit, and then I take a bath in five minutes. Do you always have breakfast? Yes, I need breakfast every day. Where do you have it? I have it in a cafe on the way to work. What do you have for breakfast? I have a coffee, and sometimes I have some toast with avocado. It's delicious. What time do you go to work? The perfect time to leave the house is at 8 o'clock, but we usually leave at 20 after 8. Do you usually need to hurry in the morning? Yes, always. Do you like mornings? Yes, I love mornings. Why? Because I love my job, and I'm happy to go to work. 6.13 1. What time do you usually get up? 2. Do you usually feel tired? 3. Do you take a shower or a bath in the morning? 4. Do you always have breakfast? Where? 5. What do you have for breakfast? 6. What time do you go to work? 7. Do you usually need to hurry in the morning? 8. Do you like mornings? Why? 6.17 Yacht Y- Yes. You. Young. Yellow. You. Usually. University. Uniform. Beautiful. 6.18 what time do you usually have lunch? At 1.30. What time do you usually have dinner? At about 8 o'clock. What time do you usually go to bed? At 11.30.